Our final speaker graduated from Fort Gordon Youth Challenge Academy in Georgia. Please welcome Clarence Wesley Jones. Good evening. Thank you for having me here tonight, and thank you for everything you do to support Youth Challenge. My parents divorced for the first time when I was about nine. After that, we bounced around Augusta until we finally landed in the Sunset Apartment Projects. While living in Sunset, I discovered that people didn't like me because of the things I owned. They didn't like the fact that I had nice clothes, nice shoes. They wanted to take my nice clothes and my nice shoes instead of going and getting their own. This resulted in several physical altercations. You may have noticed I'm not a very big person, so as these encounters multiplied to several times a week, I decided to take matters into my own hands. When I was 11 years old, I stole my older brother's pistol and went and talked to a local gang leader, and he started me on the initiation progress. Over the next two years, I was retained three times in seventh grade and two times in ninth. At that point, I was 16 and decided school just wasn't for me. Gang banging was. I became careless about hiding my gang affiliation. When my mother found out I was in a gang, she told me, either you can live with us or you can live with your gang. I chose my gang. She kicked me out and sent to live with my father in Atlanta. After three minutes of living there, wearing my gang's colors, I was shot at three times, jumped behind bushes for cover. It was obviously because I didn't know the territory of the local gangs. At that point, it became apparent that again, I, I needed protection. So I linked up with some local gang. Attending a family event at Centennial Park in Atlanta, I got jumped by opposing gang members. I was by myself. It was at that point I realized that regardless of what gang you claim, at the end of the day, you're all alone. After I got jumped by those opposing gang members, I returned to Augusta with three crack ribs. That was about two or three weeks before I got applied for Youth Challenge Academy. My mother had already applied me. Thank God. <laughs> On my first night at Challenge, while looking up at, the, at my ceiling, I came to terms with the fact that I was done game banging. When you're a game banger, you don't get a pension plan, no medical benefits, no 401k. <laughs> it was at this point when I made it up in my mind to apply myself for Youth Challenge. I focused very hard and worked to achieve everything you could achieve there. I got a 3,000 club on my GED by completing my test within the top 5%. I took a college class in which I ended it with a 99% overall average. Graduated as a cadet sergeant with numerous awards, certificates, and scholarships. And I also graduated as a college transfer student with a 4.0 GPA as opposed to the 0 0.134 that I had. <laughs> The most important thing I learned at Youth Challenge was self-discipline, self-control, self-esteem, and a strong sense of achievement. I discovered that I could really be much more than a game banger. I like being respected for my abilities and my accomplishments. Since graduating, I've been working there as a peer mentor and attend jo attending Georgia Military College. But most importantly, I've been waiting to hear on the status of my application from the On Wings of Evil Foundation for flight training in Denver, Colorado. I take my physical mark forth. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll always be grateful to Youth Challenge Academy for the chance they gave me. Since graduating from there, 
I completely turned my life around and changed my career path from a high school dropout gangbanger to an airline pilot. Sounds like a good career path, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you.